G'day everyone and welcome back to Measure Twice, Cut Once, episode 12, end of season two programming. Uh, well, we had a big season, Chris. It is. It's been a really, really big season. It's a good season. We had a lot of good topics. Yep, excellent. Um, a lot of good uh, guests yeah, were right. on there. Yep. Uh, we've got one more for Ty, but I'm not going to say anything just now because I'm a little bit worried about this one. Yeah. Uh, you're a bit shaky there, mate. I, I am. Know. I am a little bit, yeah. When we get a guest on, you, you start to go through this bit of a reflux. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. He's uh, supposed to be all right, this guest. He's supposed to be, but I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. So, a bit of experience, um, I think, today. And as someone who, uh, you know... it's Well, it's not a, not that. It's just that you, 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 if you've watched these videos, you just don't know what you're going to get. No, you don't know what all you're right, going to so, get. No, no. So I'm, I'm a little bit nervy. But anyway. hope, hopefully it's a no-joke program. Because um, we, we get we come on stuff. We will, we will. That's a story. All right, but just quickly, um, <laughs> we, this is episode twelve. Yep. Uh, we're just going to quickly mention our partners. Yep. Uh, so we've got uh, Nath from Hammeroo. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, Scott from Custom, Custom Creations. Creations. KC, not KK. What mm -hmm. you were saying? Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, and we've got um, Sean from Cracker Jack Timbers. Cracker Jack, Cracker Jack Timbers. And we're going to have a bit of a. Um, a bit of a discussion later on at the end of the show about... Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. The giveaway. The giveaway, uh, Which yeah. we announced. Uh, we sort of had a bit of a question, a bit of a pull that out of the box, didn't we? And it's pretty easy. Well, out of the box. Yeah, all right, let's go box. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Damn it. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's um, something we're doing today. Yep. It's it's just a, a token of our gratitude for everyone who, jumped, who has jumped on board and leaves us comments. Yep. Um, and we, we, we really love that. And these these are our partners, Chris. They're not sponsors or anything no, like that. No. And, and Nathan at Hammeroo still has a uh, special code for people wanting to buy from his shop. Yeah, if you just, uh, at, uh, at checkout, if you just type in uh, M2C1. Or measure twice, cut once. Or measure twice, cut once. Uh, you'll get a 10% discount. Is that right? Yes, yes. Yeah. On all, yeah. all, uh, several of those products like your um, PolyX and uh, the Osmo. Diamonds. Yep, that's the Osmo anyway. Osmo, yep. yep. <clears throat> so, and um, Scott's throwing in a hundred dollar gift voucher. A hundred bucks. Yes, yes. Wow. And uh, Cracker Jack Timbers, unfortunately, is only available to a winner, prize winner in Melbourne. In Melbourne, yeah, because he's in Frederick and he can't send um, ten foot length boards in the mail. And it's Australia only, so sorry, internationals. Yeah. But next year we'll try to do next season. Something next season, yeah, we'll try and do something a little bit different along those lines. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, all right. So that's that's our partner. So we've got Nath from Hammeroo, we've got Scott from Custom Creations, we've yep. got Sean from Cracker Jack Timbers. Yep. Now, just quickly, what did we do last week? What could have we have done last week, Chris? I wonder what we did last week. So here look. Last week's discussion was uh, very interesting and appropriate for, in, in many ways, Chris. Uh, mm -hmm. And we did go on to the topic of uh, injuries that may be sustained and in the workshop yes. and the associated re rehabilitation. Uh, re you know, rehabilitation. That's a word. Yeah. Rehabilitation. Yep. And, you know, the journey you have to go on to um, get yourself back up to a fitness level to be able to operate machines again, but mm -hmm. also to build up that confidence. Right? Yeah, exactly. So that exactly. can be a big devastating thing for people. You know, you may have uh, had an injury, but how do you bounce back from that? It's, yeah. That can be a physical and psychological. So you're afraid to say you've locked off a finger, you know, and then you're a little bit hesitant getting back on that old table saw, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah. No, yeah. That was, I think we had, we had a lot of good comments out of that one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, thank you to everyone who has given comments. Yes, so, for sure. Chris, I just want to say, before we go further and introduce our wonderful guest, mm -hmm. um, please, if you've enjoyed this so far, subscribe to the uh, Measure Twice Cut Once channel. Yeah. Uh, we're also on audio podcasts, so you can listen to us. And um, next season's going to be a good season as well. Yeah, we've got a lot of good things coming up in season three. Too right. Yeah, we're swayed. actually we've been nutting out the, the whole season as we speak. We have, we have. We, we're going to try and look a little bit more professional than we have. You're nutting it out or going nuts? Trying to work oh, out. Six or one. Yeah. You know. yeah. yeah. Planning is unbelievable. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We've spent our whole entire five minutes on it. So, mm. so what's, on, what's happening today? What are we doing today, Dave? We've got a, um, we've got a, a, a guest. Yes. And like I said at the start of the, the, at the top of the show, of, um, I'm a little bit nervous about this one because you just don't know what we're going to get. <laughs> because he's, um, 
I, look, his, his videos are great. I love his videos. Um, they're always fun to watch and, and you're always learning something new. Yeah. But um, I'm going to let you, uh, because I introduced our last guest, right. the world's greatest YouTuber, Ainsley, yeah. all right, I'll let you introduce this one. No worries. Go for it. Well, I'd like to say that today's guest is uh, someone who we could introduce like um, a box of chocolates because you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> uh, it is the one and only uh, Dinky Die Fair, you know, Grouse Cobber, yep. Aussie maker. He's been around at it for a long time. It's the one and only Shane Conlon from DIY. For Knuckleheads, otherwise known as? Uncle Knackers. Uncle Knackers. <laughs> G'day boys, how's things? Uncle Knackers, how are you mate? Mate, absolute pleasure to be on the number one talk show in Australia. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but we're getting there, we're slowly getting there. <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking of changing our names by deed poll to Hoss and Harry because uh, we're not doing much justice to our, uh, you know. Actual names, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job so boys. What what have you been up to, mate? What's what's uh, what's the geo up your neck of the woods? Oh, geo, um, been pretty busy, mate. Just trying to uh, avoid the rain. We've had a fair bit, as you probably know. Yeah, about seven hundred millimeters, so it's a fair just bit. A, sorry, just a quick question: um, Is the mouse plague bothering you up your way? No, we've missed out on that. It's about uh, four hours west of us, but uh, okay. those poor those poor buggers out there, they're really copping it, so. Yeah, yeah but no, nah, <clears throat> things are going pretty good up here, mate. Busy as always. Good, good. Yeah. Glad to hear yeah. it. All right, well, we're going to kick off with a few because we only asked the hard-hitting questions here. I know. I'm a bit nervous, to tell you the truth. All right, well, so. first question off the bat, how would you come up with Uncle Knackers? Uncle Knackers, well, um, <clears throat> as you well know, every small country town in Australia has at least one kid called Knackers. That's true. And true. nearly every small country town. And I grew up in a very small country town of about 50-odd people, and um, I was the Knackers in our town. And then as I grew up and my brothers had kids, the kids started to call me Uncle Knackers, and that's how it all just stuck. So what, why Simple as that. that. A great deal. Why doesn't that surprise me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, people sort of uh, think it, it may have been from other means, but uh, it's pretty innocent in actual fact. Okay, but, uh, well, yeah. that's good. That's yeah. good. All right, well, do you want to? Yeah, look, um, Shane, one of the things we try to ascertain, because uh, we want to build a bit of a background on the people we have on, on the show. So uh, you're from a small country town and... Um, can you perhaps just elaborate a little bit on your background? And um, I believe that you are a qualified builder. So, you know, do you want to take us a little bit back to introduce yeah. you know, how you are working with your hands? Yeah, okay. Um, well, going through school, I absolutely, my worst topic was woodwork. Mm -hmm. I absolutely hated it with a passion, hated it. All I wanted to do was to play footy, cricket, tennis, become a PE teacher. You know, but uh, none of that sort of stuff panned out. And then my uncle, who's a builder, he needed a hand for two weeks. I thought, oh, yeah, I might as well go and give him, a, give him a hand. Gave him a hand. I thought, actually, this is, this is pretty good. And um, 20 years later, I was, I was still doing it. So it's just by pure chance that I actually fell into the whole woodworking game. Okay. Absolute chance, but yeah. Isn't that funny? I mean, when I was uh, when I was at school, woodworking was my best subject. I loved it. Like I was saying, it's just because I hated woodwork at school because I was bad at it, and um, I just wanted to pursue a career in sport. But um, it's just funny how you actually, once you actually get the chance to do something, because building's different to being in the woodwork shop. Because you're actually building a, a um, house, which is different to building a box or whatever. Mm. And um, I actually really like the process of building a house where you can drive past it and go, look, I, I built that, which is a pretty fantastic thing to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, 20, 20 years later and I'm still doing it, so it just must have, must have gelled somehow. I'm not quite sure how. just did. 
Do you, do you enjoy it? Do you, do you, do you... I actually loved it. I loved it. We used to work seriously so hard. We used to work, you know, six six days a week, um, uh, uh, ten hours a day. Did that for twenty odd years, and then about uh, seven years ago, I became a little bit crook, and uh, that whole thing finished. I couldn't actually continue on with it. So then I thought, I can't waste twenty years of knowledge, which is why I started up the uh, YouTube channel. I remember when I first come across your videos, um, they were the, the how-to. And the, the, I think the first one I watched of yours from memory was how to drill a hole in a tile. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Going back yeah. A bit, right? It is. It is. And I, But the, the thing that sort of um, – because I, I didn't know who you were, and when I, when I heard the accent, because you're always looking for Aussie makers. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. When I heard the accent, I've gone, okay, we're on a winner here. Um, yeah. We've got someone who speaks the same language as we do. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and then then, yeah. Uh, then, then at the very end, you did the uh, the great tip, knackers, and I'm going, <laughs> all right, here's one that I'm keeping. This one's a keeper. <laughs> I think I remember back in the day someone said, make sure you have a catch cry at the end of each of your videos. And that's why that's where I came up with the great tip, knackers. Well, that's, that's actually good advice. Because we've mm. been sort of sitting here trying to work out how we can um, get the channel to grow a little bit. So maybe we should. Mm. Come up with a... You should. You should have an actual an actual catch cry. All right. Well, you really okay. should. Let's yep. work on. Oh, we won't do it now. But we'll no. Work something. We, we, we don't have what, could it, what could it be? What could it be? You reckon a catch cry for you boys? Mm. Have have to work on that one. I think. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Have to, yeah. we'll come up mm. with something. Yeah. Yeah. Season three. Season three. Season three. I want to see one. Okay, done. Yeah. So, yep. oh, so going back to the <clears throat> the building industry and saying, you know, like you drive past somewhere and you can actually point out that you built that or you were part of the yep. build process. Yeah. You know, me personally, I, I think um, sometimes woodworking gets a little bit of a uh, a bit of an ego compared to say carpentry. Where mm. I, I see carpentry as something you have to be so much more precise and definitive on your, your finish because obviously people are going to live in that, you know. Whereas, if yeah, you for sure, board, you might get a splinter, yeah. but if you build a house badly, it's going to fall in yeah. on you. That's right, that's right. So, there is a bit of there is a bit of responsibility, but um, it's just one of the most satisfying jobs, it, it really is. I love it. I, could, I, I actually tried to become a builder. Um, yeah. Back when I was leaving school, I wanted to get into the building game. But uh, back then, and I'm talking, geez, nearly 40 years ago now, um, the only way I was going to get into the building trade was whether my father was a, a tradie already in the game or I knew yeah. somebody who was in the game that was prepared to take me on. And it yeah, just yeah. did it for me. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can honestly say that in all the years that I was working, um, I don't think I, I ever got up and hated getting up, going going to work. So I think I was pretty, pretty, pretty fortunate there. Yeah, that's that's a big call because um, I, I, I certainly mm. can't say that now for me. Yeah. Where are <laughs> Not long now, mate. Two more years, is it? Two more years or three years? You, you want to know what the count is as of now? Yep. Oh, you got a counter. That's it, right. Yeah, he has. It's actually a good topic you just raised, Ed, if you get yeah. up and well, enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, <laughs> going by going by the counter, it's two yep. years, five months, four days, 10 hours, 22 minutes, and 40 seconds. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's on. Which equates to 888 days. What there if there's go. a leap year? Shut up, Dirk. Oh, yeah. Maybe that could be a catchphrase. Shut up, Dirk. <laughs> Shut up, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Just, um, <clears throat> I remember initially early in the piece, right? But now, I had seen you on YouTube, but it was this one day I was listening to ABC Radio and I was uh, doing some deliveries in Ballarat and um, oh, yeah? the, uh, the, the host of the program introduced mm. you Mm -hmm. as a YouTuber, and you yes. think at the time you had some 60,000 subscribers. 
Um, yeah, that's right. And that's thought, right. Isn't it, isn't it uncanny that you, you, they introduce, you know, Shane Conlon to speak yeah. on ABC Radio uh, <laughs> as we were getting into watching you on YouTube? That was a pretty like, massive moment. Fluky. Fluky. Just fluky, mate. Fluky. It was. It was. Well, yeah, that was uh, a few a few years ago now. It was. Yeah. That was back uh, in the early days. How did you get your head, so to speak, on radio? Well, I've got a head for radio, so it was quite good. But um, we, all. Uh, we knew the person who was doing the story. So okay. it, was just an, it was a pretty easy easy way to get in, really. No no big coup, mate. They, they weren't sort of tracking me down. It was just, you know, just in the right place at the right time, pretty much. Oh, come on, mate. You've got to hype it up a bit. Yeah. Nah, come on, come on, you guys. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. The, the, the windows on the truck fogged up and, like, oh. things were happening and, you know. <laughs> Actually, speaking of um, Ballarat, that's where I did my trade school there at Ballarat. So all, yeah, so all of us Melbourne boys used to go down to Ballarat to the School of Mines and uh, one, one week every five weeks. And uh, freeze our nuts off for a week in Ballarat. <laughs> I, every time I drive down one of the road, main roads in Ballarat, it might be um, 15 degrees in Melbourne, but it, it might be five degrees in uh, good old Ballarat, mate. So, That's right. That's right. Yeah. Even, even, even though I actually, even though I actually love it, it's a, it's a great, great town. But um, we'll be driving from Melbourne, and you get past Bacchus Marsh and you get get toward Bland. Next thing there'd be this cloud coming over Ballarat, this black cloud that's hanging over Ballarat. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it was great fun. I loved it. I loved it. It was good. I've been yeah. in the snow there, Chris. In Ballarat? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was going to get a snowball to bring back and throw it. Yeah, but... yeah, but there would have been a rock in it. Yeah, it would have melted. Yeah, good on you. Not the rock. <laughs> All right, let's, let's ask one of these hard-hitting questions again. Oh, right at no, let's do it. Um, ah, the, that was the one question that I wanted to ask was um, do I wife for knuckleheads? Why, why are you calling yep. us knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers? Because you are, I suppose. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's just that that's my target. target. My target audience are guys who are just kicking off, blokes who know nothing. And um, so I thought, what, that's a, a perfect name to call my bloody YouTube channel. Oh, I thought it was perfect. I, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so people who come across my channel kind of know what to expect. It's not some high end production, high end workshop, high end anything. So it's pretty basic, uh, basic tools, blokes from Bunnings, just sim simple as stuff. Which is why the knucklehead term came into it. Well, it's obviously working because you've got nearly uh, forty million subscribers. So no, not quite forty million. Almost nah. Wish it was. Wish it was. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon you're heading up to Jimmy DeResta territory now, mate. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a good 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 man, that Jimmy. Smart yeah. man. Smart man. Yeah. Don't 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 put yourself there. I reckon you're up there as well. Nah, I don't know about that, mate. But it's all good. It's going it's going well at the moment. Good. Well, so one of the good things is it's got the old yeah. Spanish channel going these days. I see, see, come card. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, mate. I um, I think you're just breaking up. So, what were you asking? What were you asking? Oh, okay. We'll go back to the Spanish. Um, one of the things I like, Shane, is that you, you're very inclusive to your audience. As far as um, a lot of females as well as males, uh, attracted to. I, I think more so the way you do your projects, but your personality. And um, I, I, I personally believe that's just a natural trait that you had. Um, so it, it's one of those things that's been, I think, working from the day you started on uh, social media, mate. Yeah, I think everyone's probably got a bit of an alter, alter ego. So, you know, you have to sort of amp things up a little bit when you're doing your videos, whereas if you're just your normal old self, it'd be pretty boring, I, I suppose. So you just got to try and amp things up a little bit and... Uh, Get a bit of interest going, you know. So, well, you've done that. <laughs> you, you've done that. In I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I am. Um, 
I don't think people realise how much work goes into making an actual video. I do you that. Know, I'm, I'm convinced of that. I'm really convinced of that, that people don't yeah, understand it's... how much time and effort goes into producing a video. And I think that's why most people drop off because they, yeah. don't, see instant, they don't see instant success mm. and uh, all they see is hard work, hard yakka. Uh, but you just got to be persistent, I think. To I make a success I, of YouTube. I, I reckon, yeah, I reckon some people look at uh, YouTube as maybe a, a get rich quick scheme type uh, thing. Ah, nothing, mate. No. Nothing could be further from the truth. I get it. No, no. By by the time you work out what you're going to do, then you do it. Yeah. Then you film it. Then you edit it. Then you distribute it. Mate, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Actually, and I reckon, I, I reckon guys like guys like you are doing a bloody fantastic job, and like um, Ryan from Oz Sawdust Makers, and Vic, and you know James from Fix It Fingers. That's you know the the video production is absolutely fantastic, and well, you'd actually want there. to. Sorry, we're getting there. We're getting there. There you are. You are. You are. Actually, by the way, what what camera do you use, mate? Because your your footage is beautiful and crisp, and your light's perfect. What is it? There it is there. What is it? It's a Nikon D7500. Yeah. Because your footage is so crisp. It's beautiful. Oh, and what sort of lights do you have? What do you have for lights? All I've got is a bank of four LED lights in the uh, in the workshop. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. that's all I've got in there. Nothing special. That's no, fantastic. It's really good. It's look, Again, it's, it's a learning curve. I keep, uh, I keep asking questions of the... Um, uh, the the professional photographer at Timbercon. He, um, oh, yeah? I keep asking questions of him. That's why I got the camera. Um, yeah. And that's why I've got the lights set up the way they are. That's why I've got yeah. these little microphones now. You know the, the little. Uh, I saw that. I did. I, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so you so you can wear one of those one of those mics, and that's not wireless, is it? Or or is it wireless? It's wireless. Yeah. I, I can be wearing anywhere in the shop. Right. And you get about a 20 meter range or a 30 meter, 40 meter? Actually, in a straight line, um, they did a test on it. I think it went up to about 70 meters <sighs> with, with nothing, oh, nothing blocking the signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Oh, can fantastic. I, sorry, Shane, can I get you to do just one thing for me? Yeah. Can you move to your right a little bit? There we go, because now we can see the measure twice cut one sign behind you. Oh, there you go. Hang on a second. Oh. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Look at that little baby. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my you... that's my signature work. Always cutting things too short. <laughs> so signature. I, I you like the the running gear I use as well. I've got the Nokia phone with a torch. That's not bad. Yeah. Yes, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I get a lot. Of my stuff. all I, my all of all I've had like I think my first like. 50,000 subs, all I had was an iPhone 4. That's all I had. Worked fine. So, yeah, iPhone 4, didn't have any lights, just lights on the roof. I still only have lights on the roof, but uh, it's it's nothing nothing fancy. Yeah, no, I, I, sort of did when it, I, went, I went all out, you know, and um, just wanted to – I always think my, my favourite saying is if you can't dazzle them with brilliance, baffle them with bullshit, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, perfect, mate. Perfect. No, but no, I think I think my <laughs> now I think I think my next I think my next purchase is going to be um some decent lights because that's always an, an issue for me. Well, that's, that's because what, what the photographer says. Uh, lights yeah. are the key. Lights are the key. Yeah, it is because my issue is that I um film in my garage and um. I have to have the garage door open, right? Because if I don't have the garage door open, the light's terrible. So, um, but there's always somebody mowing their lawn, tuning a car, a plane flying over. This yeah. is, it kills you. And birds, oh, birds yeah, are terrible. Dog barking and birds. Dogs, yeah. dogs. Yeah. Oh, God. I've got, I've got yeah. bloody bee doubles coming over a bridge every time I go to talk. <laughs> have you? Yeah, no, no, no. Wow, wow. <laughs> and, and the worst thing is when you're almost through 
like you almost finish something and a, and a bloody car will roar past or someone will start a mower and you're going, oh, come on, it's killing me, doing my head in. I think you use other words though, don't you? I do use a few little words. I do. <laughs> Mate, he, he can speak Spanish, so he, he swears in Spanish. Ah, si, si, yeah, si, si, senor, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. how does that, do you actually do a video in Spanish? No, nah, so what happened was this um, company from the UK called Paper Cup, and they've got this new technology that kind of makes a Spanish translation in your voice and your style. And so they just said, look, can we make a make a channel, use all of your stuff? We'll do all of the, the translating and they just it's a, a 50-50 cut. I said, cool, go for it. Perfect. Yeah, so, going... Are you Uncle Knackerbockers or something over there? <laughs> it's it's an, an unusual pronunciation. Put it that way. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I reckon any software or any person that can keep up with your vernacular is uh, doing well. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mate. Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. Now, the, um, I've, missed, I've missed one particular character, right? Um, yep. The one and only Liverpool, Mr. Jurgen Klopp. Ah, oh, Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> Is he going to make a, a return in some time in the future? Well, he's had a couple of uh, couple of goes. I've done a couple of Jurgens, but um, I think if they win another premiership, I might I might do that. Yeah, do another Jurgen. But I I have had some fun with Jurgen Klopp. Mate, yes, it was absolutely classic. This is going back I know three or four years, and um, we went down to Sydney to watch uh, the Swans play the Hawks. And so that was on the Friday night. And the Wednesday night, Liverpool had come over to play a friendly. So it was quite feasible that Jurgen Klopp was still in town. <laughs> and so, so, we, so we've gone to the footy and this bloke's going, oh, there's Jurgen Klopp, Jurgen Klopp, and all sort of stuff, right? <laughs> and, and, and we're just laughing about it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we, we um, go, to this, go to this pub and uh, I... Walking with, 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 I walk in with my mates and uh, I said, look, boys, I'm dying to go to the dunny. So I've gone to the toilet. One of my mates has gone to the bar. And as he's gone to the bar and I've gone to the toilet, he says, hey, Jürgen, beer? I've gone, yeah, 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 yeah like that's right. <laughs> anyway, while I've gone to the toilet, a guy from Germany, a guy from Ireland and a guy from Perth, sounds like a joke, <laughs> came over to my mate Bob and I said, is that really Jurgen Klopp? And Bob and Bob goes, yeah, yeah, just keep it down, though. Just keep it down, right? And he doesn't want, you know, all this hassle. Anyway, I've, I've walked back from the toilet and I'm Jurgen Klopp, right? <laughs> Full on. I'm signing shirts and get, doing arm wrestling comps with these guys and getting beers. <laughs> but I, um, I had to do it in, uh, you know, German. So I had to do all German accent. <laughs> But no, yeah. that's, but that's but that sort of things happened heaps heaps. I actually I, I can relate to that. I um, apparently I have a, a bit of a resemblance to Merv Hughes. And uh, I almost said George Clooney, but but uh, Merv Hughes is yeah. No, thanks thanks Uncle Mac, because it's that's yeah. the nicest right, thing anyway. You should take a, a hint from him. You know, he says nice stuff. Well, people reckon I look like Fabio after a you cave do. crash. <laughs> so you so you and Merv get a bit of a look in, do you? I well yeah, I I've not not so much now. Um yeah. a little while back, yeah, I used to get it all the time. Like people would come up to me in the street, g'day Merv, how you going? Can I have your autograph? I'm going, I'm, I'm not him. The the one thing the one the one incident that really strikes me is I, I went to um I went to a footy match, I went to the Richmond um GWS uh prelim final one year. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sitting in, in a pub with a couple of my mates, you know, just having a, a meal and a thing before the game. And a guy comes up and he goes, oh, g'day, Merv, I just want to shake your hand if I could. You know? And I say, oh, I'm, I'm not him. He goes, oh, yeah, no worries, you know. No I worries. get it incognito. And I said, no, I'm really, I'm not. I had to pull out my driver's license and show us it's, it's not him. I'm not him. <laughs> right? And um, oh, classic. The one, thing, the one thing I look on is 
it'd be funny for me if people went up to Merv Hughes and go, you know, you look like Chris Zurich. You look like Chris Zurich. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt he gets it all the time, mate. Well, he'd get that all. Good. He'd, he'd get it all the time. He'd probably sick of it. And the yeah. thing is, he only lives um, probably about 20 minutes away from me. So, oh, does he? Oh, right. Yeah, over in Essendon. Yeah. So I should ah. go down and see if I can find him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So yeah. apart, apart from us all being pretty good role players. <laughs> That's right. Jane, when, when you started out on YouTube, right, you, you were pretty yeah. much a, a solo flyer for, you know, with the Aussie flag draped over you. Yep, yep, um, yep. How do, you, how do you see it nowadays? And is it, are you pretty proud that a few other Australians have started being, uh, become YouTube content creators? Because I, I personally base what I do from you. I got that right. excitement level from watching you. So how right. do you see it going or, you know, nowadays? Well, I reckon it's absolutely fantastic. The more, the merrier. Bring them on. Bring them on. I, d- I just hope that um, the guys who start, Continue and don't drop off. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. well, that's that's one of the reasons why um, Dirk and I started this thing. You know, we want to try and um, you know highlight that uh, us Aussies can be just as good as the rest of the world. Oh, I think we're better than the rest of the world, mate. Come on, yeah. we're Aussies, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now look, there's some uh, there's some Aussies out there now on YouTube and Insta. They're doing some pretty big things, you know, which is good, which is really good. Yep. Like, like a bloke like Dana, you know, he's Mark's killing it with his oh, buddy yeah. Insta. Absolutely oh, yeah. killing it. Yep. And, and uh, uh, our, last, our last special guest, Ainsley, I reckon she's. Yeah, oh, mate, I tell you what, she's going to go gangbusters, I reckon. Yep. She's really good. Co- comes across, she comes across, <laughs> you know, Chris's girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. God, I hope she doesn't watch this episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's very, very good. Very good. Yeah. Talented and knows how to make a, a good video. Yeah. Oh, and you know I, 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 hang on. Hang on. I, I've, got to, I've got to say this. Before we, we sign off from you, which we're not going to do right now, but before we do yeah. sign off, I want, and actually, no, I demand a dad joke before you go. Oh. No, nah, can't. Hey. I'm not a performing monkey, mate. Like, <laughs> God. But, uh, no, I don't. I don't have a dad joke on 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 tap, mate. Don't have well, one. Got a file that you go into and pick one out. Nah, and nah. You know how some blokes can just remember jokes. Let's oh. let's set the premise. There was three blokes on a podcast. <laughs> Well, yeah, let's start that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, look, I'd... Yesterday. Yeah, same. Look, no, I've, I've got a terrible memory for jokes, mate. I can do them if I've looked at one, but I can't remember them. So sorry about that, mate. Disappointed you. Uh, Disappointed well, just you. Just in the back of your mind, just tick over yep. in the back of your mind while we're talking, just in the back of your mind, see if you can come up with something. All right? Yeah, I'll see what I can do, mate. But don't, uh, don't uh, you know, it probably won't happen. Anyway. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. There we go. Fair All enough. right. So the next, uh, were you going to ask some questions? I've got one. Have you? I've got one. One before you. All right. Go. Um, recommendations, uh, advice, uh, even for us who have been doing social media or YouTube for a little while, and how yep. we can perhaps go grow a little bit quicker than what we are, because yep. obviously content, getting it out there is important, <laughs> but. Any any sort of special uh, comments that you give to anyone wanting yep. to further? I can. Yes, I can tell you a few things. The thing is, like, it, you can have the absolute best content on the platform, right? But if people don't watch it, you're not going to get noticed, right? So obviously your thumbnail is probably the most important thing, the most important thing. It's like the cover of your book. You might have a fantastic book, but if, if the uh, cover's crap, no one's going to read it. Mm. And it's exactly the same as your YouTube thumb because people are, people are scrolling. They're scrollers. They scroll, 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 and you've got to have a thumb scrolling stopper thumbnail, right? If you haven't got one of those, it's going to scroll straight past you. So, so it is. Yeah. 
It is. So the trick is to do, um, if you can put your ugly mugs on there, do that because people just need to, if they're scrolling through quickly and they see your face, oh, bang, that's, that's one of Chris's videos, bang, that's one of Dirk's videos, and, uh, and I'll stop on it. But if, if you haven't got your face on it, it's going to scroll straight past. Right? Mm. Uh, so do that. Um, have little text on your thumbnail. Like if, if you go and watch all the uh, major or the, the really big, big guys, their thumbs are so simple, like really simple. And um, with, with your text, don't repeat what you've said in the description. Like if it's um, how to build a coat rack, don't put it on your thumbnail, how to build a coat rack. Put, put, right. yeah, put some text on there that people read it and they go, oh, hang on, what's that guy talking about? I might click on that. So you just don't 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 repeat what's in the description on your actual thumb. So just have words that are going to invoke a bit of curiosity. And yeah. that's we, what you we, want to do. we were we were talking about that for measure twice cut once just prior to having you on as our guest today. And um, yeah, we're trying to thrash you out and get some feedback as well from uh, you know makers like yourself, Shane and. We were going yeah. to ask other people as well, but that's that's really handy advice, isn't it? Yeah, very, very good advice. Yeah, I would never yeah. thought of. Yeah, and um, when you do your – because these days the AI with YouTube is so advanced that keywords and all that sort of stuff, that doesn't really matter much now. Mm. So just have a des descriptive title that's going to make people click. Right. So, okay. don't, how, how do you, so how do you come up with this? Is it um, do you like how do you sort of generate that that thought process? I generate it first of all. If I'm um, thinking about a project, I'll go into YouTube, click in the search search function, and then look up popular searches in that function under under that term, and then try and work out a catchy description to suit that search term. Rather than just use that search term. Oh, well, that's yeah. yeah. So because say so like say you want to do um how to how to build a coat coat rack. So you type in how to build a coat rack, and all these things will come up. You know how to build a coat rack out of reclaimed wood. How to build a coat rack DIY blah blah blah. blah. So to, just pick the top three ones because they're the most popular searches, and then work with those titles because that's what people are typing in. Well, there you go. Yeah, look, I, I, I agree. And my, my thumbnails are like a dog's breakfast on my channel. Sometimes I reckon I just... Mate, I thumbnail, thumbnails are the hardest thing that you can possibly do, seriously. Yeah. They're really hard. Yeah. People use the bum, have, actually. Uh, just a, a typical, you know, your logo and then yep. maybe, um, you know, like you do, you have some text up there, don't do this or try that. Yeah, or, yeah, you know, yeah. And yeah. it works. It still works to this day because it I does. Look at the it does. I go, yep, it's, it's typical Uncle Macker style, and has yeah. to be watched. And we know who it is. That's right. Exactly right. And I wouldn't bother about putting a logo on your thumbnail. No logo. Really? It's just no. It's just a waste of real estate. Okay. Yep. I'd, I'd put a. I'd, I'd um. I'd. I'd put a bigger picture of you. Like. A picture of you two t together, like doing something stupid or whatever, would get a I got plenty bigger. of that for big <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that would get that. That would get a bigger click through rate than just having a logo. All um, right, we'll do that. We'll try that. Yeah, try it. Yeah. Try right. it. What about yeah. what are the, the tutu? No, I'm not going to put on a pink tutu just for you. All right. <laughs> Well, you aren't. Is, is, is Chris borrowing your tutus, Dirk? Yeah. At least I'm washing them before I give them back. Yeah, but I don't, give, I don't accept them back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, last question. We've got another question. Right, uh, yeah. I've got, I've got to go and mow my lawn, so hurry up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What's next for Uncle Knackers? What's next? <sighs> got a little thing in the pipeline that I can't say too much at the moment. 
the reason I'm the reason I'm asking that question is because you had the cooking one uh, a little while back. Yeah, well, actually, well, do you know what? I really like I like cooking. Right, I do, and uh, I actually wouldn't mind doing a few cooking videos in the workshop or in the kitchen. Oh, a bit of a combo, mate. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I actually I, I really like cooking, so you know. So would you miss us to let you take the table saw into the kitchen? Probably not. Probably not. I know she wasn't very happy the day that I um. I don't know whether you saw the video where I put a bolt through three pieces of wood and you had to expand the wood. I don't know whether you saw that one or not. So, well, so what I did, I I went to the kitchen. Actually, hold the phone. I'll be back in one sec. Right, I'll I'll show you. Wait. Well, this is new for measure twice cut once, isn't it? Yeah, guest. Running away while we're talking to him. Oh, he's a uh, hard hitting question, Chris. This is what happens. This, uh, he's probably going to get a <laughs> tissue. Uh, no, he's looking up jokes. He's looking up dad jokes. Dad jokes. All right. I'm coming, I'm coming. Here he comes, here he comes. His cup is cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long, long run. Did you see this video? Oh, yes, yes. 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 Yeah, right. So to get that bolt in there, right? You had to put this inside boiling water. Yep. So I had this block of pine in a pot on our stove in the kitchen, and the smell that came off that was horrendous. So <laughs> I don't think I'll be allowed in the kitchen again to uh, do those sorts of experiments. But uh, yeah, who knows, mate? There could be a cooking show on the cards. You don't know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. But he, he, did but, make, he, mentioned, he mentioned something's in the works, so yeah. But you're not going to give us a, a hint, or no? Nah, because it it could be nothing. Who knows? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Probably go out into every language group on the planet. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> good idea. That's a good idea. Hey, how's your um? How are your uh, rubbish wood projects coming along? Slowly, very slowly. slowly. Yeah, you yeah. got one. I've got one here. Mine's mine's put together. I've just got to edit the video and um, and get it out there. So when are you when are you putting yours out? When's the cutoff date? Thirty no, end of May. End of May. Oh, good. I've still got a week. No problem. So when are you putting yours out? Saturday or Sunday? Probably next Saturday for me. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. 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 Same. Same. Ah, oh, very good. So you've got uh, you obviously made something out of rubbish. Wood. Yeah, I made something, mate. Yeah, yeah. So I finished that yesterday. So okay, all right. Hopefully it look, goes look, all look, right. Look. Hopefully it goes so all we, right. Have you got anything else to? No, uh, no. I think we've had a good fun yak here and uh, touched upon a lot of different uh, good points, Chris. A lot and, of good advice. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. Nothing else you want to know about YouTube? Is that it? Uh, no, no. no. I'm just, no. Uh, still waiting on that dad joke. Haven't got it, mate. Told you, I'm not a performing monkey. <laughs> uh, you're a legend, mate. Thank you. Thank you for our, uh, our little podcast, YouTube show here. And um, Thanks, boys. You're doing a fantastic job, I have to say. I know it's a lot of effort to make these things, so um, keep it up. Don't but, give in. No, no, no. We're not going to give it away. We're not giving it away. No. Nah. Actually, we... Uh, nah, that's that's we, the one key. Thing we're sort of doing... Our um our main channels like built by Chris and Sumo's projects, they're sort of going on the back burner for for this for this show. So, mm, all right, we're going to try. Can and I just say, can I, okay, it. if you boys want to get a bit more traction with your videos and stuff, yep, do a video or two on how to use certain tools. We spoke about that, didn't we? Oh, on, on this channel or on our. Uh, on your own personal channels, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah just to, if seriously, you'll get a ton of traction on them. Like just do really basic on how to use a circular saw or a drop saw or a bloody table saw, whatever, right? Just do a really basic and uh, you'll get traction, guaranteed. Yeah. More, yeah. more good advice. Just yeah. just. Yeah. This part of advice out so everyone else doesn't get in the queue in front of I was, I was going to say, just, just right. edit that bit, right? Okay. Can everybody just uh, not listen to what you're saying now? Yeah. 
Just do really complicated woodwork projects, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mate, nah, so do that. Be good. Star. You've been an absolute star. Thank you for coming on to the show. Thanks, boys. Appreciate it. It's been really good. I've, yep. I've been I've, I've, this is season two. I've been waiting for two seasons. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, I, I wanted to get you on. I season know. Season. I know. I don't yeah. like you that much. So. Yeah, I know. Your prima donna. My prima donna. <laughs> good old Angelie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, now, boys. I'm going to go and mow my lawn. All right. All right, right mate. Saying that, so I'm thinking you have to go and mow your lawn. Thanks, guys. It's been really good. Good fun. Thanks, mate. All right. Go to Kangas. Woo! Yeah, good on you. <laughs> Join in the chorus. Da, 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 da. Join <laughs> in the chorus. Not, not, yeah. not. Sing your song walking, mate. Sing your song walking. <laughs> <laughs> always got to go. All right. Ciao, ciao. Ya, Cheers. See ya. Chris, there you go, mate. What, what an awesome guest. He was. He was an absolute ripper. Yep. I, um, again, I, I knew he'd be uh, a good guest, and, mm. and I was right. Yeah, I was agreeing, mate. Uh, yeah, so, you know, what? we love having the guests on, and uh, we're looking forward to next uh, season, season three season of three, the show, yeah. which yep. we're going to go into pre-production uh, not too far away. No, 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 we're going to get right on it. No? We yeah. have to. A uh, big thank you to everyone who has subscribed, who has commented, and um, you know that's that's makes us makes our job easy because we just feed off that mm -hmm. and uh, appreciate everyone's contribution to the show. Yeah, uh, whether you listen on audio or if you watch it on YouTube, it all matters to us because uh, yeah, it's just a community we're trying to create and be part of. Our partners, Chris. Our partners, yeah, Nathan, Nathan. from Hamaru. Yep. Um, Scott, Scott from Creative uh, Custom Creations and and um, Sean from Cracker Jack. Jack. Yes. Jack yeah. Thank you to our partners. And thank you very much for helping support, uh, having a few giveaways with uh, your kind contributions. And uh, we'll hopefully continue on through the future seasons. And we'll, maybe we'll get a few more, Chris. Who knows? But You never you know, know, yeah. That's right. Yeah, the sky's the limit. So leave a comment down below yep. about... Oh, we've got a question. We have a question because there's going to be some big prizes. Yeah, no, no, we had we had the question. We, had, we asked the question, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We did. Sorry. And that was um, what nearly caused us to fall off our seats Yeah. on episode six. It's thrown me that much, that episode. Oh, I'm, right. I'm, I'm forgetting where I'm at. Yeah. But, but I'm yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. You're in my workshop. In the workshop. Yeah. In your workshop? This isn't my workshop. No. I wish it was. Yeah. So, no, I suppose without further ado, thank you, everyone. And uh, what else can we add to that? Many, many, yeah, many thanks, many thanks. Uh, we hope that you join us again on uh, Season 3. Yep. Uh, because, like, like Duke said, we're, we're going into pre-production very soon. Yep. And we're going to try and make it better than what we did Definitely. the Definitely. last two You seasons. can only try. Okay. Yeah, look, we, 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 we're both novices at this, you know. We, we don't... We, Never done anything like this before. No, no. So uh, yeah, we, we're sort of trying new stuff. We're, we're trying to we're trying to build the channel. That's right. That's right. Well, Chris, well, thank you for all your grouse editing. Your editing is getting pretty s hot. I won't say the word. Why not? Because it's family show. Family, family, family shows, yeah. Um, and yeah, we we're get, we're going to try to promote it in other communities if we can. Spread the word if you can, guys, folks out there. Yep. You know, tell people about the show, where it's at. Let them, let them know what we're doing. Let them know what we're doing. Yep. yep. And uh, we'll be back with a special announcement next week to... Uh, the winner. The winner for the three winners. The giveaway. Three, three, winners. three winners. Awesome. Three winners for the giveaway. So, until then, I'll, uh, my customary way, I'll say... Uru. And I'm just going to say, for the last time this season, bye for now. See you, guys. Chris, we're going to have a giveaway. Another one? No, another one, mate. Yeah, yeah. This is the second season nearly done, mate. I, I think we've given away far too much. Oh, well, we... we information, great guests. We've given away a lot. This is a show that keeps giving. So well, I suppose. I suppose yeah, you're yeah. right. I no. suppose you're right. The yeah. audience gives to us. Probably. They do. Oh, look. Staying part Without of an audience, we're just two blokes waffling on. Oh, that's right. That's right. 
We do that in our own spare time. We do. <laughs> so, guys, um, three prizes. So, we have a, a prize coming from Cracker Jack Timbers. Thank you, Sean. We have one coming from um, Custom Creations. Yes. Uh, that's Scott. Scott. And we have Nathan from Hammeroo also uh, giving all the viewers a 10% discount on Osmo, um, some of the pigments he has. Mm -hmm. uh, we, so if you go and order, uh, put in the uh, code for uh, the purchase, M2C1 or M2. measure twice, cut once. So yep. Yep. That's and all you'll, you'll get a 10% discount. That's right. So He's a very generous man, isn't uh, he? He's, he's fantastic. They're all fantastic. They are. They're, all, they're good cobbers, mate. They are. All right. So... Um, Chris, do you want to do you want to sort of uh, tell the folks about or ask see what the question's going to be? Because I, I get a little bit nervous when I think the about the question. It. I know I, I still have nightmares to this day. Yeah, yeah, it's something that threw us through a loop. Yeah, okay, time. what was the subject? Easy Tiger. Right, right. What was the subject that made us do a double take? Mm -hmm. On episode six, <sighs> shouldn't be too hard to answer. Actually, no, that. I, I probably should reword that. It was. Um, it's not what the subject is. We had the special guest. Mm. What was the thing that the special guest made that made us do the double take? Oh, gives me goosebumps oh, thinking no. about it. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't even know what to say. But anyway, no, we invited him back on episode, uh, season fourteen. So yeah, just yeah. to get over this initial, you know, shock horror. But yep. All right, Chris. Mm. So yeah, what is that particular item. item? That's it. What was the item that made us go what? Yeah, yeah. No. More so you, mate. We... I was shocked. <laughs> I, was <so laughs> I was shocked. I had a cold Absolutely. sweat. Yeah. yeah. That it was a thing. But anyway. There you go. That's the question. Down below, give us the answer. Yep. And uh, in th three weeks' time. Yeah, Chris, three yeah. Three weeks' time, we're going to draw the winner on a separate little video after, se after season right. two, episode 12. And sorry, it's only Australia only. Yes. Um, but, yeah. Yes, that's a good point. It's Australian, Australia. And at this stage, sorry, but, you know. Yeah, in the future, we might, you know, rattle the tin, see if we can get some funds. Yeah. Send something overseas. Yeah, why not? Sounds good. All right. Because Uncle Knackers is in the green room, so we've got the whole... Can you make a full screen? No. I oh, 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 cannot. I don't know. I don't know. Why all these questions, Dirk? Well, you didn't stop up your computer. I'm, I'm not even... <coughs> not going to top it. You all right? Yeah. You, sure. want to, you want to pick up that water phlegm off my floor? You didn't offer me a drink once again. <laughs> do you want another drink? Or... No. How'd you go? G'day, boys. Did you did you, you you heard all that? Yeah. I heard all that, mate. Yeah, I did indeed. I. It's a very did. professional show, isn't it? It is, mate. I'm, look, I'm, I think I'm on the body of Oprah Winfrey show or something. <laughs> it's <just> professional. <laughs>